a little video on how local anaesthesia works. So we're thinking local rather than general. So rather than being in theatre with a big bottle of gas, we're thinking about the hypodermic syringe and we're going to stick some local into a local site. So how does local anaesthetic work for dummies like me? Well, we'll assume you already understand nerve physiology, how nerves work. You need to understand the sodium channel, which is all about how the actual potential works. We have our local anaesthetic as a solution. It's a local anaesthetic base. To be stable in solution, it's formed as the hydrochloride salt that is water soluble. And then we inject that into the tissues. So the formation of the local anaesthetic is represented by this equation. So we take our local anaesthetic as an injectate and it reacts, that's chalk, that is, it reacts with the relative alkalinity of the tissue so that after injection the local anaesthetic base is liberated by the alkaline pH tissue. So base hydrochloride plus hydrocarbonite to liberate the free base, which is non-polar, diffuses across the nerve sheath into the axoplasm, reionizes and then blocks the inside of the sodium channel. OK, I'll do that now with a picture. Here is a simplified schematic of the process. So we'll take the nerve cell as yellow and in green we've got the phospholipid bilayer. Because of the action of the sodium potassium pump, the outside of the neuron is relatively positively charged. You'll see the plus marks in red and relatively negatively charged on the inside of the cell. So we have the sodium ions outside the cell, as I said, because of the sodium potassium pump. So they're out there floating around in the ether, but they want to get inside of the cell and restore equilibrium. This, um, this charge is maintained by energy and, and obviously the body wants to return to homeostasis if it can. There's sodium channel in purple. So we inject our local anaesthetic as the base hydrochloride and it reacts with the relative alkalinity of the tissues. So we'll represent that by hydrogen carbonate. The free base is liberated as well as some hydrocarbonate and chloride ions. So um, the, the little egg with the red dot, so that's our base as an ionized form as part of the hydrochloride salt and the free base is liberated. And it is the non-polar base that can diffuse through the nerve cell across the phospholipid bilayer. And then on the inside of the cell where it's relatively more um, acidic, it reprotonates, it's known as iron trapping. So it's beta plus H plus two, BH plus once again, and it's the it's the reionized form that sticks to and blocks the inside of the sodium channel. Sticks it there so that when we get an action potential or rather we try and get an action potential, which is sodium getting into the um, cell to um, um, depolarize the cell and cause an action potential, the local anaesthetic blocked in the sodium channel stops it. As a summary, we inject our local anaesthetic as the hydrochloride salt. The drug dissociates, the free base is released, which um, enters the axon the, across the uh, phospholipid bilayer, reionizes and then blocks the inside of the sodium channel. And in truth, it is way more complicated. Um, I keep reading around this and keep making myself more and more confused around this, but um, uh, one day when I really understand it, <laughs> I'll do a, a proper video on what really goes on. But I think for a simple jobbing surgeon like myself, that's uh, that kind of makes sense to me.